Initial jobless claims were up a little bit in the United States. They were up a little bit, up 3,000, 244,000. That's 244,000 from last week's 241. They were up 3,000, but the continuing claims are actually down significantly because people are finding work. So while people are entering the work-seeking phase, that does happen, especially when people are transitioning. You know what happens when you take a look at a number like this and you see that the continuing claims are down so significantly, but new claims are up nominally. It's a small number. You think about, use a little deductive reasoning. When a marketplace has a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs that you could maybe pick from, maybe you're qualified for three or four job openings that happen to be in close proximity to your home. You might try one job and decide that job isn't for you and with other jobs still available, but the hiring process not being expedited just for you. It's not something that happens. You walk into a place and just get hired. It does happen at some places, but a lot of places there's a hiring process that goes on an interviewing process. You then end up claiming unemployment. So you go on to that list in the short term for the unemployment. But it's not that you're not employable. It's not that you don't have job options. It's just that you have spaces of time where you chose to maybe leave a job that wasn't treating you well, wasn't paying you enough, wasn't giving you the respect you deserve, not enough tickling, whatever it happens to be. And then you've moved on to a job that has a lot more of the things you need. But in the interim, you happen to add 3,000 extra people to last week's number at 241 to bring it to 244 for initial jobless claims. But continuing claims are down so significantly, it tells me that for the every 3,000 that enter, there's a lot more people saying, we're doing just fine. I was just waiting on this hiring over here so I could go get my sweet new job.